okay. Okay, so this is just a random video I thought I might make because I have no plans on videos right now. Uh, then I'm going to do an unboxing for Halloween stuff that hasn't come from Briar. I'm really surprised because it's standard shipping. And it's been four days and it hasn't come. So we're f it's five days now. But ignoring that, um, I need to think more movie ideas and stuff. But I, I thought of this idea a while ago. I already painted one horse for this. Um, these aren't it, but I have these four horses set up. I'm going to be doing more research on this because what I've been doing is I've been doing, looking up historical horses in wars, like Revolution, Civil. That's who I got so far. None of the horses in the World War, I'm both, I don't really find very interesting i i respect all the horses though they're all so cool and have great stories but also sorry for the messy background <laughs> i i'm gonna be i just knocked down a custom no oh we gotta move youtube cuties oh ooh. there okay so i'm gonna be painting blue skin i'm gonna repaint this model that i did a long time ago when i was younger and i didn't understand how to paint well um, blue skin, he's popping up on the screen. That was George Washington's horse, and then this dude, I'm gonna repaint as well, it's Nelson, also another horse of George Washington. Um, and then the next horse I'm gonna paint with this one, I'm gonna repaint this one, cause he's a little messed up. Um, and I didn't really like this mold, it's not really one of my favorites, and the coloring I didn't really like with it. So, uh, I'm gonna repaint it into a cuter mold. And not mold uh, color, so I like it. I'm gonna be painting Traveler, um, General Lee's horse, cause like I like Traveler. I don't have the Briar surprisingly, the traditional. I really want that one. Um, and then I'm gonna be painting Marengo. I don't know how to pronounce the name. It's French, I believe, because this horse was uh, Napoleon the. First, I think that's how you say his name. I'm not good at that, but I'm gonna be using this horse. I know it's not the Arabian model, but the only Arabian horse I have in Stable Mates is one I actually kind of like, so I don't want to repaint it. Um, but I'm gonna use this dude and just vibe and pretend it's an Arabian. So, uh, it kind of looks like one, not the same face, but like eh, it'll do imagination and then i'm still looking here because i do want to repaint this dude because it does not look realistic at all um but then i got these three from a kid i opened i actually didn't paint for a while and then this dude another in this mold i don't know who um and then i got these two frisians i want to fix him up he was a, like a fiery kind of horse before with the eyes, so I wanted to kind of work on that somehow. But then this one I want to repaint. Oops. So, uh, I'm not priming these guys. I've been using just white paint to do it. I have to do another coat of him and coats and all those dudes. So, I just thought it uh, might take you along. And oh, I actually opened my window for once because it was awkward at first. And then, yeah, that's my fish. Um,. Yeah, and then I have to paint those dudes I'm going to do with my mom on my own. But, so, talking too long, so let's just get started and just vibe. So, um, I've been painting a lot. I got three coats, I believe, or two on this dude. Four, three on this, no, three and two, I think. And this dude, I only did one coat due to him going to be a chestnut so he doesn't need white a lot of white i just did it on the black to dim that down so the um chestnut color could uh stick more and be more bright and the black doesn't come through um so yeah i'm going to just show you my process of painting this dude hey everyone so i decided i might just spill a little facts into this um video because I was bored and I decided to read some facts about the horse I was painting so um and also to make the video better me, my voice talking over it so you can hear my annoying five-year-old voice <laughs> but so apparently um I'm just gonna be reading off what I see in my screen right now I'm just on my laptop right now and I'll just be reading it off so you learn something new in this video 
And I'm not trying to, like, force something into your head. I mean, I'm just gonna start giving the facts out. Nelson, or Old Nelson, was George Washington's horse and one of the several horses owned by Washington. He was a chestnut with a white blaze and white feet. The horse was acquired by Washington in 1779 and died in 1790 and about the age of 27. That was actually really old for a horse in that era. Oh, and by the way, I will be linking the um, stuff I am reading because this is true. I'm on right now Mount Vernon website so um yeah the horse who would known to be nelson was born around 1763 and would have been been a mature 15 years old by the time he and george washington met in 70 in 1778 thomas nelson of virginia learned that washington was having trouble finding a replacement for a horse he had been riding. As a result, Nelson sent the horse to General Washington in New York as a gift. Washington, in turn, then named the horse for his generous friend. Also, another really cool thing I learned about Nelson, or old Nelson, was the thing, George, this was George Washington's favorite horse. He had, I know he had another horse named Blueskin, but he chose Nelson over Blueskin to ride in the battle because Nelson was less skittish during the cannon fire and startling sounds of the battle. And in addition, Washington chose to ride Nelson on the day British Army under under the direction of Lord Cornwallis, surrendered at Yorktown, Virginia in 1781. Four years later, after returning to a civilian life, Washington made a list of livestock living at Mount Vernon Plantation. In this document, Washington described Nelson as a riding horse, though he appears to have been hearkening back to the aging animal's previous service. According to two sources, Nelson was no longer ridden after the war, but lived out his days as a stable and paddock at the Mount Ma- at the Mansion House farm as something of a pampered celebrity. Only two years after the close of the war, a forging visitor commented that Nelson Blueskin fed away at their ease for their past services. This was just for fun. I'm not trying to like push you to read about this horse or anything, like no sponsor or anything. This was just like a fun little thing and I decided, hey, why not just give you guys some facts about this horse that I thought were really interesting because I'm a history geek. I love anything. I just love learning about wars. They're just so interesting in my opinion. And I just thought I might, like, give you some facts about the horse I was painting so the video's not just, like, music in the background. You can learn something a little bit. But I do realize I made the horse a little darker than I wanted, but it's actually really good. I really thought it would be really bad, but I like it a lot more than I thought I would. And I think he's a cutie, so... Yeah, I just hope you like the video. And, the, and again... I'm not trying to promote Mount Vernon or George Washington or Nelson. I'm not trying to promote him. I just want to get that clear. And this is part one of um, probably of a four series, like four episode thing. Because I am going to do Blueskin, Traveler, and Marengo. Still don't know if I'm sharing the name right, but that's what I'm going to be doing.